trust you're starting to feel invincible at home at the moment. Yeah, we are satisfied for this win. Uh, I think that it's so important today to get the three points. Before today we had four finals, now we have three. We need to keep going. But to win this first game at home bring to us confidence. And to get these three points make that you have a little bit of advantage. And you can go to play away more comfortable. If today we don't win, uh, you have this pressure that you need to get the result away. And of course we want to get the result away, but it's not the same to go with this pressure that to go uh, winning the game at home. And uh, we are so satisfied with this. Can you give us an update on McCain and Malik injuries? Yeah, today was a difficult day for us because uh, the couple of central defenders that played last week both are injuries. Yesterday, Malik, after the training, he feel that, uh, that he cannot play. And uh, Bogi go in. And uh, today, after 40 minutes, Malik said that he's going to injury. And in that moment, uh, we had Darcy or Manon. We put Manoni because he's a player that has more experience. And he's today for us, it's like a final. And we have a lot of confidence with Darcy. I did very well the last 15 minutes when he played. But uh, this kind of games, I want to put players that have experience because in the end uh, it's like a final and this bench has more experience. What are the injuries and how long are you expecting them to be out? I don't know, we need to check, but uh, honestly I am worried because uh, at the moment we have uh, Tirio that uh, feel uh, a little bit, uh, his muscle, also McCain, also Malik, also Trullo, it's a lot. Also, Garlich finished the game, but uh, he's uh, with problems. But uh, we are lucky that we play on Sunday. We have uh, nine days. It's the, the most uh, long time that you can have in nine days to win a game. And with these nine games, I hope and I wish that we will recover some players. And uh, we will be happy to play next week in New Zealand. Can you draw a link between any of the injuries? Is there a common cause? Oh, I don't understand. The injuries, is there any similar reasons behind why each of them have occurred? I think no. I think no. Uh, for me, the problem was that last week we played a very strong game in Western Sydney. In a difficult conditions, the field was with a lot of water and, and this. And uh, we are a team that uh, we are comfortable with the ball. And we uh, try to be fit for this. In that moment we need to fight a lot and a lot of 50-50 goals and some players are alive to this game tired and from this tired maybe come the, when I didn't say tired, I, I, I mean it uh, massive, no physical. And uh, for this reason we have this problem, but it's not only with a long term injury. I think that the, the people in the week will, will come back and, and I think that we will, maybe not all the squad, but Almost everybody would be ready for the break next week. Do you feel there's a bullseye on some of your guys? It's like being targeted physically by other teams now? Physically? Other teams are starting to target your guys physically. They maybe can't match them in skill, so it looks like there's a physical... I think that uh, we are physically okay for what we want to do. Uh, when we make our planning physical, it's for to have the ball and to play with the ball. In the moment that you lose the ball and you don't have the game is not what you want in the moment we, we suffer. But in the end, what we need to training is what we want to do. What we want to do is to have the ball. We are fit for to do what we want to do. And uh, this is enough. If you do in the game what you are doing with, in the training. Was it just pure relief when Jute scored? Is that why you ran down the touchline and celebrated? I go there because uh, in this moment, uh, I think that. Uh, it's the most difficult moment in the game. I feel that the Sydney FC was close to score, and maybe to two. Also, I have this in my mind because the last game that we played against them was like this. And uh, for me, this game is crucial, very important. Also, because the players are doing an extra effort. I know that they are just playing uh, with the uh, injury. I know that uh, some of the players, like Jude, that he scored 10 minutes before he told me that he 
I made the change, I could do it, because I believe that he can help. And in that moment, uh, when we scored, I feel that the game is winning, and I want to celebrate with my players, because we are very close, one of the others, we are a family, and uh, for us, uh, I am the coach, but we are very close. And one day they come to me to celebrate, today I go with them to celebrate, because uh, I want to share with them this important moment. And uh, it's not usually, and I don't do this every day, but today for me is a special day, because it's a crucial moment, a difficult win, and I want to share it with my life. Do you think you've done enough now to lock down a top six? No, no. Uh, until the end, they need to win. If you win today, and, and uh, we lose the three games that there are, uh, we don't be in the top six. We don't be in the minimum three or four points more from this line, and we need to fight for this. Of course, uh, we are in a good position because winning today, uh, you are in a good position and, and you don't have this pressure. But if now the three games that are coming you don't win, you don't be in the final shot. And we need to, to get points now, away, and the crucial is he at home. He at home, we need to get, win the board game at home, I think that we can be in the final.